hi guys welcome back so it's november favorites and i'm not gonna lie i'm so good that november is over because my birthday month and now i'm sad but it's so close to christmas now and the vlogmas starts tomorrow um but yeah if you want to know my november YouTuber favourites, beauty favourites, food favourites and drink and TV. It's a bit of everything. So yeah, if this seems like a bit of you then keep on watching. So before I go on to beauty, I want to talk about my two favourite YouTubers of the month, which is Willa Lucy and April Finnegan. They are the two nicest girls, their makeup is insane. If you love makeup and just like, I feel like they just have wholesome content. Like, you know what you just want to watch on YouTube? Literally the best two people. And if you're not subscribed to them, you are missing out. Because I feel like when, when I have no idea what I want to do with my makeup, they both just have the best makeup ever. And obviously you can follow them both on Instagram. I'll leave everything down below. And... They always support my channel. They always like my pictures. Like, you know when you just feel, I feel like we're friends even though I've never met them. And that's how I feel from the videos as well. And the videos are like, they just seem like such genuine people. And honestly, they just deserve more subscribers. They deserve to have like millions. They're literally the best two people on YouTube. And they actually, Sometimes being a small YouTuber, it's hard to know if people like comment. I don't know how to explain it. They always make effort. Um, they always watch my videos and they'll always interact with me in comments. And it makes me feel so happy because I don't think you understand how many like other people just don't do that or just like comment or want to talk to you when they've posted so you do it back, which is it's not a very nice thing to do, you know? Like, I like... They are two people that genuinely support you and they deserve so much support back. So, yeah. Sorry for the little ramble, but they are two amazing people that you all need to go and see. And they... Let's see their favourites too. I literally just watched um, Will Lucy's favourite video, so you should go check that out. Okay, let's go on to beauty. So... I don't know what to start off with. I think I'm gonna start off with lashes and these are the ones I'm wearing today. Are you like a big lash queen? It's a thread there. Are you a big lash queen like me? Um, because pound lashes, I speak about them in like every video, they're the only lashes I will ever wear. But I bought loads of them recently. And, well not recently, I'm not gonna lie, it's probably like a few months ago now. <laughs> Let's not lie to you all. Um, I bought some a couple of months ago and I've just got every single different one. But I was always wearing the same like high maintenance and bossy like, which is so good. And then I ran out. So I tried these. These are what they look like. And they are, they're massive. But they're 99p. And look at them. You know what? You all might not like big lashes and that is literally fine. But pound lashes as a whole have every single one you could ever want. And I mean, I just love big lashes. I want my eyes to be like massive. <laughs> and these are literally the best pair I've ever had. Um, did I order three more the other night? Yes, I did. And I've just dropped everything on the floor. But you can't come for me. They're the best lashes ever. Why is there a plane going across? when I want to film. That's what I want to know. Also, who likes my balloons for my birthday? I don't want to get rid of them. I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to accept that it's over. Do you know how much I stuttered then? Am I okay? Okay, let's talk about lips. So my two favorite lipsticks probably of all time at the minute are these two. Look how diddy that one is. I love it. Um, okay. Let's talk about this one. It's from Beauty Bakery in Skinny Dip. Um, when I first got this, my friend just got me this for my birthday and I thought it was from the brand Skinny Dip and they have makeup products. And my friend Lauren, um, we both did our masters together, was like, where's that lipstick from? And I was like, Skinny Dip. And she was like, 
and then she told me it was on beauty bakery and she found it and i was like thank you because i'm gonna need another one this color especially when you tanned is so good um i like to use this when i have a fresh layer of tan for like the first few days and then i go into my other one which i'll talk about after um but yeah i feel like this is such a nice color perfect nude and i just love nude lipstick at the minute although next month i really want to wear loads of red so and then next is this from revolution i'm pretty sure this is only four pounds i don't know how much that one is i'll try and link it down below um this is in naked and it's a matte lipstick this is a tiny bit paler i'll try and put them next to each other i had the revolution one on today <laughs> yeah i hate myself too it's fine Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's just that tiny bit paler. So then now when my fake tan is sort of like coming off, this shell jacket is making so much noise. Sorry. I love it though. But yeah, it's just really nice. And then I like to put a darker lip liner on anyway to darken the outer corners to make my lips a bigger. But yeah. They're really, really nice. Some of them are a tiny bit more drying, but like compared to a few other lipsticks i own but they're not that bad and they're literally like four pound but i just want to be honest um if you have really dry lips maybe won't recommend but my lips are dry but also a bit of carmex solves it so yeah amazing talking about tan let's talk about the tan that is just the best and it's not even a tan but my tan was on its last legs and now i feel like i look a very nice brown and it's thanks to this. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. It's got vitamin E, natural bronze, gradual tanning moisturiser. And it helps to build and maintain a natural looking tan. Um, and it's moisturising as well. I literally put it on my body all last night. And my tan was like literally fading. And now I just feel like... I feel like it is a natural tan. And I feel like you could literally just use this if you're scared of fake tan and or if you just want your tan to stay on longer just put this on with your tan like after like two days of my tan i'll start to put this on because it just helps especially on your face because you're cleansing all the time and stuff what you should be <laughs> i don't and my body just looks like naturally bronzed all the time so especially in winter as well some people like you don't want to be like doing your tan all the time it's cold get this i'm pretty sure it's like under five pounds in boots but you may i don't know do they have it in hand bargains or anything like that for cheaper they might do favorite okay let's talk about the bronzer i've got on today i feel i'm very bronze so i don't know if i spoke about this in my last favorites but i bought this on a whim because I don't know why, but I was looking at my bronzer collection. I was like, you're all old. Like, I need something new, but, like, I, I have no money, and it's Christmas, so all my money's gone on presents. Revolution do these massive bronzers, right? I mean, I have really small hands, so. Massive. And they do them so many colours. I've got mine in O2 Warm. This bronzer is amazing. Like, I'm not going to lie, I looked at it, and sometimes you can judge the drugstore and you can't help it but sometimes you just do i was like my voice broke then i was like oh this is gonna be chalky it's gonna look horrible this blends out like a dream and it's so affordable and i will probably repurchase this and i probably will use it all um i just there's not much to say because it's just a bronzer but it's the best one and the formula is just really nice and I mean, I think Revolution is actually my favourite makeup brand ever. Like, they are the best. So, definitely check out these. I feel like they had so... Also, Revolution are really good as well because they don't just have, like, 15 light shades and four darker shades. They actually have shades for everyone. So, yeah, definitely check this out and just check out Revolution as a whole. Okay, so this is the next thing. It looks dirty, but... I was on YouTube, literally, this must have been eight years ago when I found out about this on YouTube. Um, I, I can't remember what YouTuber actually spoke about this. If anyone remembers, 
I don't know. If I can think of it, I can see their face in my head, but does your YouTube ever just unsubscribe you from people? Like, I'll just find people that I watched when I was younger and they just pop up again. I'm like, oh my God, like, that is literally me right now. Okay, so this is the Colour Lash Collection Clear Mascara. It's $1.99. And this is what I use on my eyebrows basically every day. My eyebrows look so light at the minute. Do you think they're too light or? But, um, sorry for the really close angle and I have like textured skin, but like we all need to get over it. Everyone's got textured skin. Or, unless you're lucky. <laughs> but, they just make your eye, like, they stick to the hair and you just buff them up and like I feel like right now this very bushy eyebrow trend is going around and I'm here for it I'm here for it I'm down this is the best thing to get for it it's not like super glue I'm not gonna lie like you can't really feel it on your eyebrows which I know some people do like and I've heard that some of them are really good like um something <laughs> I've heard that some are good like I think the Anastasia Beverly Hills one's meant to be like glue that's what people say but it's $1.99 and it makes your eyebrows like this fluffy like they stay in place but it just doesn't feel like glue and but you know what I mean like it just it's the trend right now but I've been doing this for years and you can you don't have to fluff them all up by the way it's just good to set them anyway and again am I going to say it again yes $1.99 get it you know what i mean okay next is skincare and i only have one thing to show well, i mean does that fake tan count probably <laughs> it's moisturizer okay this is another moisturizer but a face one and it's from the body shop it's the vitamin e moisture cream oh it says 48 hour for all skin types so this is a massive tub and you get quite a bit of it so like this is gonna last me ages and I always just take what's on the lid to be honest um I don't like to dip in with my nails I just like scrape it <laughs> are these too big maybe um but it do you know what this moisturizer was my mum's and I nicked it I'm not gonna lie like she she got a few for like something a while ago probably a birthday and she just had loads sitting there and I was like I'm gonna try it then because she got like a few from the body shop and she was trying the like orange coloured one so I'm not gonna lie I just stole it and I mean she doesn't mind <laughs> she can still use it if she wants but it's just living in my room because now it's my favourite right honestly this makes your skin glow you look nice if you're not going if you don't want to wear makeup that day but you want to look glowy I wear this all day I wear it to bed I wear it in the morning mainly to go to sleep in though when you wake up and your skin is nice it's perfect so yeah i think you should all try it out um do you know what i just love the body shop does no one else just love the body shop like i want all the shower gels all right boys and girls let's talk about food so i have one like major food favorite that i've been eating basically every day and it's noodles honestly super noodles these are the barbecue beef flavor they are vegetarian i'm pretty sure yes <laughs> i always have to check even though i know and then these are vegan from tesco so i tried these in my eating the cheapest food in the supermarket for a day i did a, cha a food challenge uh two months ago oh my god you see me like phew, so long ago i've had my channel like literally two months already. i need to calm down but they're 14p and they are so good like oh my god this is like instant win online call of duty black ops cold war win bonus game that's some boyfriends maybe i could win him something but yeah all i've been eating is noodles every single day and after this video i will go and make some i like to have them with corn chicken pieces i am vegetarian how many times we're we gonna say that in a video <laughs> vegetarian but it's just noodles really 
Like, I actually could talk for Britain, does no one else think? This video will be like 40 minutes, I have to like condone it to like try and get it to like 15. <laughs> There's only one drink that I have been drinking in November. All right? Same color as me. <laughs> Iron brew. Do you know what? I thought I'd be sick of this by now, but I'm not. I've got like six cans downstairs and this is living in my room at the minute. Like I need to go and put it downstairs and have some water. But oh, just can't stop. Let's talk about TV. There's only one show and one show <laughs> that's two. One show only that I have been watching, and that is Dawson's Creek. Oh my god, I literally started it, I'm pretty sure, last week, and I'm on season four. And there's like a good 20 episodes per season. I think they're 40 minutes long. So, don't come for me. Please. I'm trying. We're in lockdown. Do you want we're in lockdown? Do what I want. It's my birthday week. Well, when this video goes up, it won't be, so. But it's so good. It's literally about, like... A guy called Dawson, a girl called Joey, someone else called Jen, and there's Pacey. And they're all just going through life. It's quite old. I'm pretty sure it was like 1998 to 2003. Um, so it's not really that old, but I love it. It's like high school drama. It's just so good. It talks about proper issues in school, like homophobia and drugs and like just being in love in general at a young age or like money problems i feel like it covers everything and i love high school shows like one tree hill is probably one of my favorite shows ever so i feel like this is quite similar it's not as good who is doing that on my street also this woman is just walking up and down my street walking her dog like I mean, like, no tea, no shade. It's completely fine, but she just keeps, like, going past my window. She's got a cute dog. It's like a white Pomeranian. Oh, why do they want a big dog, you know? When I'm older, I want to rescue, like, two big dogs. I love Rottweilers. We're getting off topic. Dawson's Creek. Watch it. I can't wait. Oh. Sadly... I have fallen out of love with music and I have nothing to share other than the fact that I'm going to be listening to Chris's music in a few days and that's what's getting me through. I'm just, I'm not going anywhere. Normally I'd listen to music in the car and if I have anything on, it's just the girls' bathroom podcast, um, you know, by Sophia and Tinsia. I've just been listening to that. I really like their single files ones. I don't, sometimes I don't normally listen to the other ones, um, like boy talks and girl talks, but I'm loving the single file ones. I think they have three up. I just like them, you know? To be fair, I don't mind like the boy talks and the girl talks. I have listened to a fair few, but at the minute, I just really like the single files. I feel like more people just need to talk about it. It's just so interesting, like, going on dates and stuff. I'm just nosy, like... I'm nosy. I could listen to like a podcast about someone's life all day long. Even if it, you think it's boring, it's not to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really, really enjoy their podcast and music. I've been listening to Ariana Grande's album, If I've Driven Anywhere, which has probably been twice in this month. But hopefully, I mean, things probably won't even start opening up again because... The government hates the north so <laughs> why do i have to say that in every video but like i don't know we shall see what's going on and hopefully can do more lastly i want to mention cosmic crystals on depop and you can find them on instagram that's where i got this necklace from my friend meg makes the cutest jewelry it's not just necklaces as well but how cute is it? I love to wear it all the time. If you don't see me wearing it in a video, it's because I'm home alone and I can't put things on with these. But it just, because a friend made it, it leaves a special place in my heart. And I feel like you all should check it out. It's so affordable. Like, um, this was under £10 and it's so cute. I love it. I love the colours. I, I do have green on this jacket, but it's at the bottom. Oh my God, let's not expose my... 
Oh my god, I don't even know what that is. I think it's... Oh my god, there's some chocolates on there. Oh, it's just a box. It's just a box of things. You know, I've got some presents left in there. And then I have chocolates on top. And then I need to put the chocolates somewhere else because I keep eating them. But like, there's some Fortnite chocolates. And I'm just like, all day long I've been eating them. And I need to stop. Literally, my boyfriend's at work. He was like, I hope there's some left for me. I was like, oh, I don't know. They might be gone. But yeah, Meg makes the best jewellery. So please check it out. It's always in the description box, by the way. That and my friend Beth's podcast. Uh, there's so much noise on my street. So I'm sorry if this editing is like me cutting off and then coming back again. Like, oh, hello, I'm back. But that, um, my friend's jewellery and... My other friend, Beth, and her friend Kate have a podcast called Up North Books and they are so passionate about books. It literally makes me feel like, I don't know. I know it sounds really weird, but before I went to uni, I, I actually did used to love, I used to love reading and then I studied literature and I feel like I sort of fell out of love with it because I found it very difficult. Um, I didn't do just literature. I was mainly English language, but you know they throw a bit of lit in there you get a bit drowned in it all there's so many books um but they're just making me feel like in love with books again and they are both so passionate that it makes you feel passionate and it's so good so they are always in the description so if you need the name um or anything or this sounds interesting um please check them out because they are two of my amazing friends and I feel like I couldn't not say that in this video. So yeah, I hope somebody enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll probably be doing favourites videos every month. I only have one up currently on my channel. Um, which I can link down below if you just like to watch favourites. You're not really bothered about the, the month. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you very soon for another video. And honestly, you speak to me in the comments. Let me know what videos you want to see. Let me know what you want to see for Vlogmas. Stay in touch and yeah, bye guys.